back now on Most Buffalo on this less than tropical day. We are going wild the Buffalo Zoo again, and we decided to focus on one of the most popular animals that comes from the rainforest, the sloth. Love the sloth. Yeah, Kate, they are adorable. They're lazy, and thanks to new research, they are now helping in the fight against cancer. At about two feet long and roughly 20 pounds, it's not the largest inhabitant of the Buffalo Zoo, but it is one of the biggest attractions. Flash, the two-toed Linnaeus sloth, is a fan favorite. It's really important to have Flash, the sloth, because he is a perfect ambassador for rainforest animals. There are five species of sloth in the wild, and all make their home in the lush canopy of the rainforest. Linnaeus sloths sleep about 20 hours a day. They're nocturnal and exist on leaves, berries, and twigs. Their low nutrient calorie diet demands that they conserve energy, which means they do everything slow, very slow. It takes a whole month for a sloth to digest a single leaf and a whole minute for them to travel six feet on land. Sloths are most vulnerable on the ground, which is why they stay in the treetops, except for once a week. They'll actually have to go to the bottom of the tree um, in order to go to the bathroom. Um, and that's, again, just once a week. Why they risk their life to defecate is a mystery. One theory is it could be some sort of communication for mating. Aside from that weekly trip to the ground, everything from eating and sleeping to mating and birthing is all done high in the treetops hanging upside down. They have powerful legs with claws that aren't nails, but rather bones that protrude from their limbs. The thick fur on their back forms a V, allowing water to trickle off. And in the warm, moist rainforest, a thick layer of algae grows on their fur, providing the best disguise. It's a really good form of camouflage. So they're living in the trees, lots of green leaves. That algae is gonna turn their fur green. It's really wet in the rainforest, so algae grows really easily on them. They're not moving very much, so they're a perfect um, kind of environment for algae. Not only is that algae an excellent cover for them, but it's also beneficial to us. Researchers from Queen's University in Belfast discovered chemicals excreted by the microbes in sloth fur were potent against a host of human pathogens, including breast cancer cells. In just four square miles of the rainforest, you're gonna find over 1,500 different species of plants, over 750 different varieties of trees, and many of them contain properties to fight a myriad of diseases. As of now, sloths are not endangered, but their habitat is. An acre of rainforest is cleared every second. 50,000 species of plants, insects, and animals become extinct every year. We have to act now to save our rainforest because we won't just be saving the sloth, we could also be saving ourselves. Kate, 3,000 plants have been identified by the National Cancer Institute as active against cancer cells. 70% of those come from the rainforest. So there are a number of corporations right now that have turned their products green. And here's something you can do. You can go to Impact at the Rainforest and you can learn more about them and support those companies that are turning green uh, by going to alliance.org at the Rainforest. And we have that link to the story and support those companies. It's so important. Yeah, it's good to know. And I love, Flash was here on the set a couple of years ago, yeah. so I got to meet him then, but it's just so cool to see him up close. Yeah, and what they're finding, I mean, from the fur of a sloth to fighting breast cancer, amazing. Who knew? Really great. Once again, you did it again. Thank you. <laughs> we love it. And we